Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about JSF validations. So basically, JSF framework, right? It provides a set of takes to validate user input. So whatever input we're accept accepting from the user can be validated on click of a button. So for that, JSF provides its own set of validators. So like here in this video, we'll talk about F current validate required. It's a take to make sure that the particular value had some input from the user it cannot be blank so similar to this there are few more like validate range validate double range like that we'll talk about each one in the coming videos but as f uh, like as part of this video we'll just focus on f colon validate required tag it's like self explanatory it says validate required means a particular field should have some value from the user so what i'm going to do is i'll just go and create a new project a dynamic web project and i'll call it jsf validation jsf validation next next i need web.xml file so Right now, I'm just creating a dynamic web project. Okay, now you can see I have my project here, JSF validation. What I will do is I'll just go to properties and project facets here. I'll just go and enable JSF 2.3. So basically, I am enabling JSF support for this project here. I'll just use JSF library configuration. There are a couple of ways. So I don't want to my system to make use of any library. I will provide a library for JSF support. Okay, so I'll keep the settings as it is. It's disable if if you are having some other value, maybe like library provided by target runtime user library or third option disable. So just go with third, disable, then click on OK, apply. So what this process will do is it will go and create faces desk config dot xml file in the project here. Okay, now. The next thing which we need is we need a library to support JSF validation. So what I will do is I'll just go to the any existing project and I'll copy the library. Let's see if it works. So jar which I'm using is javax.faces-2.4.0. Now we have the jar in our project. Okay. Let me show you something else. Let me just close down this one. When you enable uh, faces configuration in your project, right? It creates some entry. See, servlet mapping, features servlet, and your welcome file list. Okay, index.sxhtml I will use. So I'll keep these entries as it is as it is as of now. So now this project JSF validation is good enough to support JSF components. Okay. So to understand the validation. What I will do is let me close this thing. What I will do is let me just go and create a package first. This inside SRC folder, I'll just go and create a package. Package, I'll call it com.jsf validation. Okay, and inside this, I'll create my bean file. So basically, we'll just create a user bean or a login bean. Login bean, let's create a login bean. Login bean. I'll call it yeah. Let's call it login bean. Okay. So this is my bean class login bean, but we have to explain. We have to register this bean in faces this configuration file. So I'll call it as register your bean class. How do we register? We have something called manage bean tag. Inside this tag, we need to mention manage bean name. So bean name I'll call it login bean. If you see class name is capital L uh, bean ID is login bean so this is my bean ID now we have to mention the bean class so bean class you have to mention with your package com dot jsf validation dot login bean okay and we also need to define the scope bean scope so I'll call it as a request so there are few more but as part of this video we'll go with the scope okay now we are done here we have our bean class what i will do is i'll just go and create some properties here so we need to understand 
that I'm expecting uh, sorry a string like email from the user I just go and create get a setter I want user to enter email ID okay now we'll go and create the UI part so what I will do for that is inside web content I'll just go and create a folder to store all our pages so inside pages now for this video what I will do is I'll just take the existing UI uh, where it is from the let me just copy so I just I'm just gonna copy these two UI from my previous project so that I can save some time because UI can be you can easily develop yourself yes validation what I will do is let me just here is my table attribute okay I'll just delete I know what I will keep is I'll just keep one input text book to accept uh, email ID from the user and I just want a button on the screen okay so that's it okay so what I'm missing is a CSS file so I'll just get CSS file as well from my previous project inside web content I'll copy this one. so if you see it's my very small CSS nothing much is there so let me explain the UI part first so what do I have here is this is HTML head tag beam so here is my form or I'll just call it user validation form here is my let me call it home page okay and what do I have is it says email yeah that's very nice because I want to take email as like input from the user now I have to update my bean id for this project my bean id is login bean so what what do I have I have one column where I'm displaying email and then there is the one email mail like input text box to accept value from the user and there is a edge current message to display error message if it is there okay and here is my submit button now we need to make use of something called this date f current validate required okay so I have this one f current I'll just copy this one from here f current I'll just f colon validate required is the tag which we want to use now there is something called we need to mention a message in case if it is not there then what I can do is email id is required this is what what is this is my error message in case if user does not enter email id and simply click on the submit button I want user to display message like error, error message email id is required okay so this is our one part now what i will do is i'll just go to the response page what i will do is be in validations form and response page email and i'll get my I'll just put my email id uh, bean id login been don't worry guys I'll share the code with you I'll just mention the the uh, download link to download this project in the description box from there you can get this one save login okay I think we are good to go let me just go and run this project so what I will do is just clean I'll just create the ER file and call it JSF validation I'll pick from here JSF uh, validation my project so I'll select JSF validation is our project click next I'll just go and deploy this project on the server so here is our server what I will do is simply I'll go and add project JSF validation okay so I'm hoping it should work in case of errors we'll see okay so let this so now you can see JSF this particular project has been deployed and started I'll just go and run this index.xml file on the server localhost 
so wait for this screen to come up if you guys want i can just simply explain what i've done here is here is our main page index.xml there we have one output text box to display the content email and there's one input text box to take the user input inside this one i have mentioned f colon f colon validate required is the tag that we are going to learn here so the purpose of this particular tag is this particular tag is just to make sure that user enter some value in this input text box here in case if user does not enter any value here there will be a error message on the screen so let's see if i simply click on submit button see email id is required email id is required so this is the message which i have mentioned here and if i put something here say for example okay i'm just entering my email id so that we can if you see here the code it says on click of submit button take the user to the response dot xhtml to the next screen okay so i simply click on submit see here response page email this is what i have entered if i click on back i will be navigating to the home page so i hope you have understood this one the sole purpose of this uh, simple video is to make you guys aware how to make use of inbuilt validators provided by by jsf okay so if you guys you can go and change you can play with this one you can just change the error message and you can play around with this project i'll share the link in the description box thank you for watching and in the coming videos we'll talk about next set of validators provided by jsf thank you Bye for now.